Most people rely on coffee or caffeine to get themselves through the day, but it actually could be one of the worst things that you're doing if you're stressed, anxious, and not sleeping. And I mean, I understand where this comes from. Caffeine is one of the most common, popular, and legal mind-altering substances around. It's kind of hard to avoid. I mean, it's part of pretty much everybody's morning routine, so it's easy to think that it has to be part of your routine. You may not be able to call up anyone who doesn't have to drink coffee in the morning. I know I certainly can. But let me ask you this, have you always relied on coffee to get your day started? Even when you were a kid? Let's be honest here. No, of course not. There have been times in your life where you didn't need coffee, so we know it's perfectly reasonable to say that it's not necessary to start your day. So I guess the ultimate question for this video is, how do you actually get energy without coffee? Before we answer that question, let's take a detour and talk about how coffee and caffeine actually affects your physiology. I don't need to tell you that coffee contains caffeine, and caffeine is a molecule that, when ingested, will stimulate stress chemicals in the body, mainly cortisol, one of the biggest drivers of our fight or flight response. To simplify what I just said, coffee stimulates the body's stress response. It increases heart rate, breathing rate, blood pressure, and blood sugar. Now that's great if you're being chased by a lion, but it's not so great in your day-to-day -day existence. Very few of us these days are being chased by lions, but most of us do have daily long-term chronic stress and an extended release of cortisol. And as you're watching this video, you may be nodding along going, yep, that's me. This elevated long-term stress response has a number of health consequences. Science shows us it's connected to things like bone loss, memory loss, muscle wasting, heart problems, cardiovascular disease, and even cancer. Elevated cortisol is going to look like anxiety in the people that are prone to it. Think of cortisol like the playground bully. It's going to impede and slow down the function of several hormones, including melatonin, your sleep hormone. So now we've gone to the odd short-term stress to long-term stress, anxiety, and insomnia. Coffee, my friend, is just adding fuel to the fire. It's perpetuating this stress, anxiety, and disturbed sleep cycle. And again, I get it. When you're in that cycle, it's easy to believe that coffee is going to solve this problem. It seems like a logical solution. And maybe it is short term, but it's not getting to the root of the problem. It's a band-aid. You know this is true because if it was getting to the root of the problem, eventually you wouldn't need it every day. It's a band-aid like Tylenol is for headaches. So let's go back to the question from earlier. How do you get daytime energy without coffee? Believe it or not, anxiety and insomnia are often symptoms of a deep down soul level problem. And I'm talking not following one spiritual path kind of problem. Think about the things in your life that stress you out. If you're being honest with yourself, most likely when you look at those things that feel stressful, it's because they're not aligned to what your heart wants. But yet you're doing those things because it's an expectation. It's something that you believe you have to do or should do because of what you've been taught. So you have to ask yourself, are the things that stress you out actually aligned to what you want deep down? And to be honest, if you're like most of my clients, then probably the qu answer to that question is, no, they're not. The things that stress you out do so because they're not in alignment to what your heart and soul want. And this sets up the chronic stress pattern that I talked about earlier on in this video. The nervous system is always on edge because it's constantly doing things it doesn't want to do. So the way out is not through coffee. The way out is actually through taking actions that are in alignment to who you are at soul level, your deep down soul desires. And that's exactly what I coach my clients to do in the Divine Energy Advantage. So let me ask you, real talk here. Do you really want to keep fooling yourself into believing that coffee is actually helping your anxiety, your stress, your insomnia, and your fatigue? Or do you want to get to the root cause of these problems, release your anxiety, calm your mind, sleep deeply, and actually find true, legitimate joy and energy again in your life? If that's you, then sign up with the link around this video. You'll get immediate access to a PDF download called The Path to Peace, and it's the exact steps that I take my clients through to show them how to access their own internal energy so that they don't need to rely on chemicals to feel happy, energized, and thriving in their lives. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time, and in the meantime, shine on, friend.